On this morning's Health Watch, coffee and strokes. A recent study found the more cups of coffee you drink, the less likely you are to suffer a stroke. Here with more details is our own Dr. Jennifer Ashen. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. All right, tell me more about the study and who funded this study. Right, so put another one in the win column for the health benefits of coffee. This was a study funded actually by the NIH, done out of UCLA Stroke Center, reputable, and actually looked at 20,000 people, coffee drinkers, non-coffee drinkers, found that those who drank coffee had less stroke, and that stroke risk actually decreased the more coffee they drank. It was very interesting. So how much coffee are we talking about? Well, probably more than you and I have a day. They actually saw the largest benefit with those who consumed six or more cups a day. So we're talking a considerable amount. Does that mean I have to drink six cups a day to get the benefits of maybe not having a stroke? Well, this is one of those things we have to take it, it, you know, it really in conjunction with everything else. This is one potential benefit. And again, we know that there can be risks seen with the more caffeine that we consume. People are var variably more sensitive or less sensitive to higher amounts of caffeine. So it's just one piece of the puzzle. What, do we we know the why behind this? You know, they're starting to look at it more. One of the theories is that there are antioxidants in coffee and tea, by the way, that may be protective, but it also may be that there's something in coffee or caffeine that works synergistically or in conjunction with other factors and therefore prevents stroke. So it's really evolving. So does this study mean this applies to all caffeine? Like, let's say someone really likes Red Bull or, right. or tea Not or known. chocolate. Exactly. <laughs> chocolate. I love that. Not known if it does have the same effect when you're talking about soda, chocolate, energy drinks. Right now, it's coffee and probably tea as well. All right, you mentioned there are other risks. Tell me all the all the things that are currently that we know in the win column for having coffee. Right, so the possible health, and then yes. the others. And then the others. <laughs> the possible benefits to, to ca caffeine or coffee consumption decrease risk of Parkinson's, diabetes, helps control asthma, boosts our mood and potentially improves athletic performance. All of those things are in the win column. In the risky column, certain people can be more sensitive to the effects of caffeine. So pregnant women, anyone with a heart condition, it can increase our blood pressure in the short term and, and increase our heart rate. So we really want to use it with caution. I am going to have my cup today and <laughs> You're doing... you for a coffee break afterwards. All right. <laughs> Dr. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so you much. Bet, Julie.